witness the signature of the political dialogue and cooperation agreement in the European Union and its member states on the one part. The EU and Cuba mandate signed the normalization accord. The, uh, the accord was signed by the Cuban foreign minister and the EU foreign affairs chief. I'm Francis Alonso. That's the latest world news from EOA. <laughs> December 12th, and this is VOA's International Edition. I'm Sarah Williams in Washington. Coming up, U.S. President-elect Donald Trump dismisses the CIA conclusion that Russia helped him win the election. The battle for control of Aleppo, Syria, seems near an end. And a new film explores the life of First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy in the days after her husband was assassinated. It's all ahead. Donald Trump fired back Monday against the Central Intelligence Agency conclusion that Russia interfered in the presidential election to help him win, questioning why the claim was it made before last month's voting. A pair of comments on Twitter, Trump said that if Democrat Hillary Clinton had won the election and Republicans tried to play the Russia CIA card, it would be called conspiracy theory. On Sunday, Trump rejected is ridiculous. The U.S. intelligence assessment that Russia conducted cyber attacks that attempted to influence the election. He suggested Democrats may be involved following their electoral losses. I think it's just another excuse. I don't believe it. I don't know why. And uh, I think it's just, uh, you know, they talk about all sorts of things. I think it's another excuse. We had a massive landslide victory, as you know. Uh, there's great confusion. Nobody really knows. And hacking is very interesting. Once they hack, if you don't catch them in the act, you're not going to catch them. They have no idea if it's Russia or China or somebody. It could be somebody sitting in a bed someplace. Personally, it could be Russia. It, it, I don't really think it is, but who knows? I don't know either. They don't know, and I don't know. Trump spoke on the Fox News Sunday program. But President Barack Obama has ordered an intelligence review of cyber attacks and foreign intervention in the 2016 election, and two Republican senators have joined Democrats in demanding a congressional investigation into the extent of Russia involvement, including Senate Foreign Services Committee Chairman John McCain. Now, whether they intended to uh, interfere to the degree that they were trying to elect a certain candidate, I think that's a subject of investigation. But the facts are stubborn things. They did hack into this campaign, and they did it, uh, I think, with some of the, at least what seemed to be effective, of which sort of the, every week or so there was new uh, information. There's a whole lot of this right there. It requires an investigation. The Russians have interfered in a lot of other elections. The Russians have hacked into some of our most secret uh, military information. The Russians have been active using it as a tool, as part of Vladimir Putin's ambition, to regain uh, Russian prominence and dominance in some parts of the world. Meanwhile, on Monday, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell endorsed a bipartisan probe of the issue by the Senate Intelligence Committee. The CIA said it concluded with high confidence Moscow sought to influence the election um, on the part of Mr. Trump. University of Denver International Affairs Professor Jonathan Edelman tells International Edition's Victor Beatty he believes the Russians are intent on being viewed as a major power. I think the first part is for sure. For sure, the Russians did the hacking. I mean, there's not much question about that. I think the question then is, did they deliberately do this to interfere um, with the American election? That's part of the problem. The other that people aren't really asking very much is a more important question, since that's all done, gone, it's not going to change anything. But why they did this, I think, is what's important. Um, and I think for the Russians, this is another success. Um, right now, um, Aleppo is falling, you know, to Russian-backed Syrian forces. They managed to interfere in some way with the American election. They're struggling to come back as a major power. 
Um, this goes together with what they did in Abkhazia and South Ossetia in 2008 in Georgia and what they've done more recently in Crimea and left bank Ukraine. So I think we need to see it in the broader perspective that the Russians are trying to assert themselves and they're trying to set themselves up to be in a great better bargaining position with the inevitable meetings that they're going to have with Trump and whoever becomes the Secretary of State. Well, of course, the Senate is calling for hearings. The Obama White House has ordered an intelligence agency review of cyber attacks. Obviously, there must be something there. There's no question that the Russians did the hacking. The question is, did they do this to try to undermine Hillary Clinton? And if so, why? Uh, first of all, why would you be so supportive of Donald Trump when he kind of has veered all over the place? He said not a few nice things about the Russians, but, you know, it's not overwhelming. And secondly, why would you want to fear against her? I think at least part of the answer to that, outside of whatever their deeper motive was, is they wanted to show their power. I think that's something most people are missing. That's Jonathan Edelman of the University of Denver. Well, joining me here in the studio is social media.